This is saltiness isn't bliss. Dinner for tonight is tomato basil chicken. So stick around because you won't want to miss this recipe. I'm going to start by putting some oil in a pan on the stove. I use olive oil. Any oil will work. We want one tablespoon. And we want to turn our burner on to in between medium and medium high. We want to let that heat up a bit before we put our chicken in there. And as I've shown you before, I like to kind of spread my oil all around the pan. I think I may turn my burner down to medium because I feel that heat really coming off the burner there. So this is my chicken here. It's about a pound's worth. These are boneless, skinless tenderloins. And there are four, but you can, you can cook with less or you can cook with more and then just tweak the recipe as needed for however many you use. That's that, so we will let that oil heat up for just a moment. In the meantime, we've got some tasty ingredients that we wanna mix up over here that will go in the pan with our chicken once it's brown. Okay, so you wanna put one can of tomato soup into something that you can mix all your ingredients together in. Uh, back to the oil for a moment so you'll know when it's heated up and ready because it will thin out and it will be a lot more watery as you move it around your pan. So this is still pretty thick. So I'm going to let that continue to heat up. To the tomato soup, we want to add a half a teaspoon of dried basil. If you happen to have fresh basil, you can always go with that. Next up is a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. half a cup of half and half. Half and half has much less salt than milk. And two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese. All right guys, our chicken is ready to go in our oil that's preheated, so I am going to lay that in there. And then I will put the lid on. We want to brown each side, so about five minutes per side. Okay guys, so our chicken is in the process of browning on one side. There is a sneak peek. So like I said, about five minutes per side. Next step, we are gonna mix all of our tasty ingredients that will go on our chicken once it's browned. So I'm using a whisk here, but you can use whatever you have handy and whatever works for you. Okay guys, so I am going to flip my chicken over I did pull it off the heat just to stop that oil from splattering. I forgot to mention, I turned my burner down to medium low. Okay, so by pulling the pan off the heat, you are helping the oil to stop splattering. So when we go to flip our chicken, it's not splattering us in the face. So that's about how it should look when one side is done browning. Got the burner to medium low, like I said, and that was also so that it is cooking at a nice pace, but not splattering and burning and sticking like crazy. So there we go. And then we'll put it back on the burner for another five minutes, and then we'll add all our tasty ingredients on top. All right, our chicken is all browned on both sides. As you can see, there's a lot of excess liquid in the pan. So I am going to bring that over to the sink and just drain that out of there. It got really hot, guys, so I had to go get some pot holders. But yes, I'm just going to drain most of that out of there. And then we want to just pour that right over it. You can always use a spoon to kind of scoop up what's in the pan and make sure all of the chicken is covered. And now we want to simmer that for 15 to 20 minutes and then dinner will be ready. See you then. Our tomato basil chicken is all done cooking. Take a look at that. I am going to use a little ladle here and just get some of that delicious sauce on the top there. And on the side, I paired it with just a simple slice of garlic bread that I put some shredded Parmesan cheese on. All right, guys, blooper for this video. Um, I've had these sitting out since the very start of the video and completely forgot to put them on the chicken. So you can get creative with whatever you top your chicken with. Of course, you can always just leave it like this. 
Um, I'm going to go with a little pop of color, a little add a crunch, and put some tortilla strips on there. You can also sprinkle some cheese on top, um, croutons, whatever you love, whatever you have that will just add more flavor and more, um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. Thanks again for watching and see you next time with, I'm sure, some more bloopers. <laughs>